Poe Thomas. Thomas is a busy and happy engine. As he puffs and huffs across the island, he always toots hello to other engines and to children along the way. Even when Thomas is pulling heavy loads. One morning, Thomas puffed into Brendam Docks. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. You are all here to welcome the new engine. His name is Hank. I've heard he's very special. I've heard he's very strong. Hank puffed into the docks. Hank was very special. He had red wheels and a bright red cow catcher. And he was very tall. The engines had never seen an engine like Hank before. Hank looks as strong as a giant. I'm sure he isn't stronger than a Sodor engine. Now, Thomas, I have three jobs for you. First, you must take new machines from the docks to the factory. Then you are to pick up stone from the quarry and deliver it to the shunting yard. And lastly, you must pick up an old tractor from Farmer McCall's and take it to the repair yard. Yes, sir. And you must take Hank with you. Hank must see the important sights of Sodor. Be back by tea time for Hank's welcome party at Knopford. Thomas buffered up to the machine cars. Hank chuffed alongside. Hello. Howdy, Thomas. Now, you look like one of the finest little engines I've ever seen. Thomas didn't like being called little. I'm a tank engine. Thomas thought Hank was being cheeky. Those freight cars are way too heavy for you. Let me take them for you. Hank meant to be helpful, but it made Thomas cross. No, thank you. I'm strong enough to pull much heavier loads than this. I'd be happy to help. But Thomas was already puffing out of the docks. At the signal, Thomas didn't take the track to the factory. He chuffed straight to the quarry. Thomas pulled ahead. I may not be grand, and I may not be long, but I will show Hank that I'm stronger than strong. He huffed to himself. Thomas and Hank puffed into the quarry. Now I'm going to pick up the stone cars. Hank was surprised. Hold your huff in there, Thomas. Let big old Hank take those cars for you. No, thank you. Tank engines can pull very heavy loads. So Thomas heaved and huffed out of the quarry. Thomas wheezed and wished. Handsome Hank gleamed and glowed by his side. Children waved from bridges. Hello, Thomas. Howdy. Good to see you. Hey, Thomas, aren't you going to whistle hello? Thomas hadn't the puff to whistle hello. Hank had plenty of puff. This made Thomas even cross. Thomas pulled up to the hall. He was nearly out of puff. Hello, Farmer McCall. This is Hank. He's the new engine on Sodor. Howdy, Farmer McCall. That's a mighty fine tractor you have. Say, Thomas, you look all out of puff and pull. I'll take it for you. No, thank you. And the tractor was coupled up to the end of Thomas's freight cars. Thomas huffed, and he puffed, and his wheels spun and spun. Come on, Thomas, the train's too heavy for you. Take the pressure off your pistons. Couple me up. But Thomas was determined to pull the train on his own. We must not be late for your party. Wheel turn by wheel turn, and Thomas puffed away. Thomas and Hank arrived at Marin Station. Visitors waved at Thomas. Thomas wanted to whistle back, but he hadn't any spare steam. Howdy, everybody. Thomas is a little overloaded right now. I'll whistle for him. Hank had lots of steam, and Hank blew the longest and loudest whistle. Then there was trouble. 
Thomas had cracked the cylinder. The train was much too heavy. Oh, no. Now the deliveries won't be made. You won't be back in time for your welcome party. And I'm not a really useful engine, or even a really strong one. Chucks, Thomas. I'm so sorry. That's too bad. I wanted to show you that I wasn't just a fine little steam engine. I wanted to show you that I am really strong. So, I didn't want to ask for your help. But, I do now. Please, Hank. I'd be happy to help. You give the orders, I'll do the pushing. Hank and Thomas dropped off Farmer McCall's track. The workmen were very sorry to see Thomas had broken down. Next, Hank and Thomas chuffed into the shunting yards. The yard manager was waiting. The stone cars were uncoupled. I hope you're back on track really soon, Thomas. Finally, Thomas and Hank delivered the new machines to the factory. Thank you, Thomas. Hank pushed Thomas back to Knapford Station. They arrived just in time for the party. Thank you, Hank. Now all of Sodor knows what a strong engine you are. Hank smiled. And I know something, too. You're the engine everyone cheers for on Sodor. That's something to be proud of. Thomas smiled. Hank was very special. He was a very special new friend. <laughs>